Yeah, we're, the, we're same, gonna... the same mindset that had the raccoon leaf and the tanuki suit being basically redundant with each other. Yeah, I mean, I at least with that though, uh, the tanuki suit was like a special power up that you had to like find in like hidden areas. Um, whereas the the penguin suit and the ice suit were both like regular power ups you just kind of found, found like naturally. Um, so I, I don't know. I think, yeah, may maybe the penguin suit should have just, should have been, like, more of a hidden thing. Well, I, I mean, there's a specific, like, like, there's not really any disadvantage to the, <clears throat> excuse me, there's not really any disadvantage to the tanuki suit versus the, versus the raccoon leaf there is for the penguin suit, though, because can't really travel as well on land. I guess so. Yeah, but you got two leads. Like, is the Firefly going to help against a skeleton? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're burning my non-existent flesh. <laughs> yeah. I, I like how Dry Bowser kind of just exists in this game. Like, we didn't really make Bowser turn into him, like, in DS. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, I didn't really know what to do there. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if he was turned to stone while holding on to a rope, he should have just been stuck to the rope. Yeah. Unless he just, I mean, I guess he got weighed down, maybe, I don't know. I guess so, uh... Trying to apply logic to a Mario game, I know. <laughs> mm. Are you insane? Yes. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Take it slow. So, yeah, I didn't know the clown car had, like, Medusa properties. I guess I can integrate that into my own stories now. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Quickly. That is evil. Oh, my God. And you'll get it eventually. 387 lives later. Oh god, I hope not. Well, that's eventually. Eventually. Eh? Uh. Yeah, I also I do like how the special world ends in like a uh, second like final boss. It's like uh, I I do kind of wish uh, like this this special world was like a bit harder because it again it uh, the the levels themselves were cool, but I feel like. The, is a bit, um, it, it just kind of felt like another normal world, it didn't really feel too, like, different in that way, which is fine, I guess, but, you know, after World 1 in Mario Wii, you kind of expect a bit more. <laughs> you mean World 9 in Mario Wii? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Also, I kind of just messed that up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, for the love of Now they're being, like, sneaky with us. Oh. oh. Yeah. I can only get a pound on that. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, I... I... I don't, I don't, like, final thoughts for this game, I, I think, are going to be pretty quick, because, uh, we've said most of, like... I think we pretty much already said what we need to say. More or less. Being the, pretty much the whole game in action now, I've come away with a lot more respect for it. Yeah. Hmm. This, this, for what, and I'm using this term very loosely, it's meant to be, like, Mario Cram School for EAD's younger developers is a pretty solidly designed game. Yeah. One, two, three, oh, jump! It. 
I think it, it goes at like one, two, three, five, four, five, and then does it, I think. Did you say one, two, three, five, four, five? No. Yeah. Did I? Yes. No, I I, 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 I was trying to say it goes one, two, three, and then quickly goes four, five. Um. Oh, the, the, the one, two. Yeah, basically. Um, I, I don't know. I had to look back on the recording. Maybe I just got tongue tied. That sounds one, two, three, five, four, five. It just sounds like. Sounds like a like a boss, right? <clears throat> I can't speak with his Oreo with a silk sugar. <laughs> uh, sounds like a one, two, three, five, four, five. Sounds like a faint during a boss fight. Yeah. Or you know, level design in Crash Bandicoot one. Maybe it is just like three, four. It's just one, two, three, four, five in normal speed. Yeah. Eh. Yeah, okay. What the heck is this? Oh, for the love of her. <laughs> that was close. Okay. Are you going to be nice and give me a bunch of power-ups again? <laughs> Hey. Should, should I drop some poison mushrooms for you? <laughs> okay. Yeah, now that this is gonna be useful against a skeleton. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just using the fire. Fl I almost got hit. <laughs> I'm just using the fire flower first because it's less less useful. Is this the first time we know Dry Bowser? Did, did he shoot blue fire in New Mario One? I don't know. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, he kind of just exists now. <laughs> My kids killed me just so I can take this form again. Yeah. Well, no, I, oh, no, it didn't drive Bowser a separate thing like as like as of the Olympics. <laughs> God. I mean, that's like saying Mario and Baby Mario are separate things. I guess they are, but who knows. I I remember I, I I remember I knew someone that um thought that uh, Metal Mario and Mario were different characters for some reason. I mean, they t Metal Mario has a notably more arrogant personality in modern spinoffs. That's funny. So he might he might be a separate ent entity now. I don't know. Yeah, kids this worked so well the last time. <laughs> Somehow you look less to a dame in normal Bowser. <laughs> yeah. Well, except the. the... I like the blue eyes are cool though. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the blue eyes look intimidating. I'll give it. I'll give it that. Blue eyes, white Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> Kappa is such a funny word. Yeah, it's, this is just the same exact fight, really. It's not my, not anything different going on. I want, yeah. I want Dry Bowser to be an alt in Smash Brothers so we can get like Giga Dry Bowser. You know that would be really sick, actually. Every time he does that wind up, I'm expecting him to play from a side, not from above. Yeah. As yeah. you know, you can still breathe fire even if you don't have lungs. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. I, I mean, you can still make a scream. <laughs> Yeah, it's like how when the mummy, when Emotep is resurrected, he just screams, even though he doesn't have his body parts yet, and that's actually a plot point. <laughs> Where is this from? What? Oh, in Nancy Museum. No, I said, I said the mummy, like the 1999 oh. mummy. Oh, because I remember that in like Nancy Museum, there's still a screaming mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell where he was aiming, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, he's always going to, like, aim for where you last were, so... It's it just like where his hand was. If I was playing this game, New Mario Wii would mess up my muscle memory. I would just try to shake 
the 3DS so Mario could do a spin jump. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna use this just to make things a bit easier on us. <laughs> and I almost died. Good. Purple homing fire. Heat seeking fire. Wait. <laughs> Sir. Oh god, oh god. Uh! Oh god! Aww. That was. Oh, damn it. Nailed it! Whoa. Second time to charge. Oh, you're not gonna use the. Um, fire flower first? No, oh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you can go back to get the other fire flower. Oh, well, it is fine. <clears throat> Come on, do your jump. Bonk. Oh, okay. Ooh, you guys hear the bones like crack. Yeah. There's all, there's the fact I like the fa the fact that like Peach isn't even here, so it's just we're we're kind of just here to ruin uh, the Kooplings and Bowser's day for literally no yeah, right, reason. Dry right right out, right Bowser's just like he is actually just protecting his himself at this point. <laughs> yeah, like we're we're just like ruining his day. Like why are we Mario, even here? <laughs> Mario dropped his contact lenses the first time. He had to come back for them. <laughs> oh. Or I don't know, maybe Le maybe he maybe Luigi really did get lost. <laughs> I'm not sure if there is like a special Luigi mode like Mario DS. Uh, there might be. But... Oh. Yeah, I don't think he really tries to do like trick shots, so you don't need to really worry about that. Bowser has no eyeballs, so <laughs> he's all—he's just kind of swinging blindly. He's just following the, the bright of his eyes. Yeah. I do like the blue flames. I'll say. I mean, it's supposed to be hotter. Mm. Yeah, it goes. It's like what is it? Uh, okay. <laughs> um, it's meant to be orange, red, blue, purple. In terms of like how hot it is. I've never seen, like, natural purple flame. I was going to say. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, uh, like purple flames tend to be, like, in fiction anyway. Like, they're, they're supposed to be, like, super hot flame. I've, I've never seen purple flame in fiction. Really? I'm pretty sure that's... Isn't that... I'm pretty sure that is a thing. I'd have to, like, super look that up. I have no I'm idea. I'm sure someone has, but, like, like, purple's just kind of a stock, powerful color in general. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, can someone look that up? Mm. I mean, we could. I don't know, so just look up like, uh, f Flame Tears, I don't know. Flame Tears? <laughs> I, don't know what you, I don't know what you'd call it. Also, wh where the heck am I? Alright. At the top. Bye. So long, a dry Bowser. And bless that we're done. <laughs> oh. Provided we didn't miss some random secret. 
the flame color temperature chart goes from dark red to dull red to bright cherry red to orange to bright yellow to white. Huh. And then, I guess, blue. Interesting. And at the game? Green coin in the game. What does it- does that do anything for me? <laughs> uh... I guess we'll just quickly go through all the worlds just to double check we've cleared everything. Cause I... That seemed pretty final to me. Yeah, I'm just gonna... gonna double check. Yeah, that's done. Yeah, okay. Hmm? Yep. God, these levels- these, yeah, these worlds really are, like, super short. I'm gonna use the bat. Okay. Oh, we never did this! <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, didn't- I, I swear to- didn't we? Huh. Well, I think we did in the main run before the before the emulator said screw. Before, before the after said screw. Oh, that's probably you. what it was. Is that the only thing what? missing? Second. Okay. Well, uh, let, let let's end this by playing a uh, Sonic level, I guess. At le yeah, at least these are like actual levels, so it's not like Mario Wii where we just ended by shooting ourselves out of a cannon and then the game just decides it's over. Oh! Okay. I don't think- okay, I, I think I can- I just need to jump. I don't think I need to hold the button. Button down. Oh. Those are what are things called? Amps? I think. Oh. I, associate them. I associate them with Mario Party mini games. Yeah, they are. In, they tend to be more in like mini, like Mario Party. Mini games than like actual like platform games, at least from what I remember. I know they're in sixty four. I mean, there's like uh, there's like a uh, like electric. Oh god. There's like electric balls in like the galaxy games, but I don't, th I don't know. If those are like specifically amps. I think they're just generic like electric obstacles. Oh my god. What? Okay, let's go get a power up. I I bleh. I actually feel like the raccoon leaf was um, making it harder, so I'm actually just gonna get the fire flower. Get them should get the mini mushroom. It's not going to help from uh, the pit, but, you know. I'm waiting for a Mario power-up that lets you just defy gravity completely. <laughs> oh, come on! <clears throat> It'll sell 47 million copies. I'm just going to keep trying. <laughs> oh, God. 
I mean, this gives uh, Jason time to cut, uh, to get back. Huh? Oh, hi. I heard my name. Did you, did, just you, did you just come back? Yeah, I just did. What's up? Uh, no, I, I just said this gives time for J Jason to come back. Oh. Oh, come on. Xavier is playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Huh. When's the last time he did that? When's the last time I did that? <laughs> I'll tell you, at this rate, the last time I'm going to be playing is at the con. <laughs> mm. I probably would play Ultimate more if I like had people to play with it like locally. Because I just kind of don't. <laughs> I mean, that's probably why I'm saying it's probably gonna be the only the last time I'm gonna play, it's just because it's gonna be an afternoon. There we go. Oof. Yeah. So there's only so much you can do when it's just you're just by yourself. Yeah. Right. Hooray! Now we're done. Now we can, now we can go home. Yeah. Save just for good measure, and just for the hell of it, I'm not gonna do do them, but um. Just to show that as a thing. There's a coin rush. Uh, yeah, ignore this. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. What's Street Pass? I don't know if it's actually a bug. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see and then, yeah. you know that still work. Yeah. So yeah, you, the base game starts off with these these three. I I've mentioned it uh, briefly before, but it's basically just um, it picks random levels from the the worlds that it has listed, and it's just a score attack with coins, um, like. Was it star coins and star coins? I think are just worth more coins. And if you get to the top, top of, of the flagpole, you get like double the coins you have. I think so. It's cool, I guess. Uh, I I mentioned that as well that there's a bunch of DLC that they did for like extra course packs that are actually unique levels. Um, we aren't going to be doing those because um, I I would have to find like downloads for those in the first place. And, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't feel like it. I don't, well, I the didn't really... The eShop is dead already, but... Yeah, I mean, the eShop itself, I think, is dead for the 3DS, but there's probably, like, some downloads for, just to, like, for, like, emulation stuff, but, like, um, if I were to ever do that, that would probably be a stream thing, um, uh, if I can find them in the first place. Uh, but, yeah. We're, we're not gonna be doing any of this stuff, because it's just... These are just the regular levels, so it's not really anything um, unique that we need to show off. Uh, they not bring back the versus mode from New Mario One. I I don't think so. I think these are like I don't know what what does co-op play. I, I think this is just like the regular game, but just two players, right? Uh, I think that is a um, but yeah. That's the end of the game, so yeah, like like we said, I don't we don't really I don't think we really have much to add in terms of final thoughts. Um, I think we kinda summed it up pretty well, but if you two have like so, since this is like the first oh. time you guys saw like the full game, do you have anything to like uh, add on top of what you what you've said before? Yeah, from the watch. It's Mario, like, it's very, very hard to mess up Mario. Mm. Yeah. I guess, like, there's definitely some creative level designs and even some... even some surprisingly new background designs, which I guess is more credit than this game usually gets. Yeah. This probably is, like, uh, the closest, like... For the new series, I think... Uh, this is like the closest um, I like want the series to be in terms of like level themes. I don't want to go too much on that because I've talked about that in nauseam, but 
Um, it do, it did do a lot of interest. Had it did have a lot of interesting backgrounds and uh, like specific levels that you don't really see in um, not even just a new series. Luigi, but just... that Luigi was you, Harry. I just want you. I want you to know that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the, the, not even just a new series, but just Mario in general. There was, like, some level themes in here that just you don't really see in other games. Uh, and Yeah, there, I mean, most of them were buried, like, late game, so people probably didn't give this title a fair shake, honestly. Mm. Yeah, because I, uh, I, I do remember the, my first time, when I first played this game, also this, this cutscene is just going to keep going on repeat. Um, but it's, I remember like, be, like it being a fun time, but, uh, it, I remember it not leaving much of an impression, so it was like, um, it was always that gate, that Mar one Mario game that everyone calls, um, like, super underwhelming and just kind of there, and if you're gonna talk about, like, new stuff it added, like, in terms of enemies and power-ups and all that stuff, it doesn't really add much new in that sense, but in terms of level design and all that, all that stuff that you, I feel like you should play a Mario game for more, um, like the levels themselves. Um, in terms of that, I think this game did it pretty well. I, I think in terms of the new new Mario games we played, I. I think this is probably the most well-rounded one overall. I still think I'd play Mario Wii um, the most out, out of DS, Wii, and 2, but I think... I think I'd probably rank this as, like, the best of the three so far, honestly. Because um, like, the arcade nature of it makes it very a very fun, like, a... Uh, uh, game to just pick up and just play a few levels, especially since the levels themselves are really short. And since the game itself is, um, it itself is a, it's just a really short game compared to the other ones, um, it's kind of just a fun game to just blaze through and have a good time with. Um, I, I like those short yeah. levels, like, there's a, like a car or motorcycle outside, it's probably drowning me out. Um, I can still, fine. I can still hear you. I'm sorry, the voice clips of the brothers are <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Just looking through how short a lot of these levels are, this game never overstates its welcomes, so that's nice. Hmm. And... I... I do think that... I mean, sometimes I was just kind of making dumb mistakes, but uh, I do think that this game is, um, like, decently challenging for what it's, for what it's worth as well. It's definitely not, like super difficult it's not like mario 3 hard or anything like that but i definitely say it's more challenging than ds and we were um and the the fact that you just kind of get dr drowned in lives makes it so like you never really have to worry about game overs so it's just kind of uh <laughs> the, the alive the life system as well just not be a thing at that point but i i do think the level design itself was a uh, Decently challenging for what it was, um, and it, again, it just had a lot of uh, cool ideas. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought it was a pretty good game. I, I, I would, I'm, I'm, yeah. It seems like it. I, I would enjoy it if I played it more. I just have only played so much. Um, what was I gonna say? Like, for what was meant to be a. I'm not even sure what it was qual what's qualified as. This was meant to be called New Mario Gold, so I'm not sure how mm. Nintendo initially thought this game was meant to be. Let me mm. rephrase that. I don't know if Nintendo initially considered it a sequel or like just kind of a reformatted version of the first game. Yeah, I mean, it does... Uh, I get why they called it New Mario 2, because it does like bring back more elements from DS than it, than it does Wii. Um, but... It, the, the name itself always just confused me beyond that, because it's just, uh, I, I get it's the second, like, handheld, ver like, version, but it's also, um, it also just doesn't make any sense in, like, literally any other way, so it's just kind of weird. I don't, yeah. I think I, I could have, I could have sworn I made this comments earlier, but 
They could have just called it New Super Mario Bros. 3D because, you know, third game in a sub-series on the 3DS, but people would probably thought it was an actual 3D platformer, especially after 3D Land. Uh, yeah. Like, I, I understand what they were going for. Numbered games are on the handheld. The console games get the console names. But then right. Switch kind of ruined that whole naming scheme. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh. Like, is, if a new new Super Mario Bros. came out for Switch, what would it be? Would it be New Mario 3 or New Mario Switch? <laughs> God. Mm. I do remember back when uh, uh, U was going to be called uh, New Super Mario Bros. Me. <laughs> that was something. But, um, yeah. Uh, that, that's a, that about sums it up. Uh, there's not much else to say. It's d it definitely has uh, some drawbacks with the the fact that the, it, there isn't a lot of like uh, new enemies and stuff because um or, or just like it, it, what am i trying to say like power-ups bosses and all that stuff are like nothing you've really like that that's it's nothing you've like never seen before or whatever um this game is a very high quality asset flip. Yeah, basically I mean that's that one in the to... most I mean that in a I mean that in the least disrespectful way I can. Yeah, I, I were... the biggest complaint I really have about the game itself, outside of that, is ba is pretty much just the bosses, while they aren't like bad by any means, like the I put them I I'd still put them above like the bosses in like Mario like Mario Free or World. But uh, <laughs> they're still basically, like I've been saying, less versions of the Mario Wii fights. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's basically all I've got to say. Like, it's a pretty good game. It doesn't have a lot of original stuff necessarily, but what it does do beyond that. Like the level, like what matters, which is the level design. I think it does really well. Um, I was gonna say like yeah, and I feel like or they yeah. Sorry, go on. Well, I was just gonna, the last thing. I think the last thing I have to say really is like, um, whatever, whatever the whenever they end up doing like another two D Mario game or like what have you um i think they in terms of just having like new world themes i think they have a good template with some of the levels here they they just have to like get bring back some of the unique stuff from unique levels from this game and just kind of try and flesh them out into their own full worlds if it's even possible to do that um because there are some really cool backgrounds and uh like Again, levels that you never really see before in this series, and I would love to see that stuff fleshed out more. Like, yeah, for a title that was made, and I'm saying this very loosely, like, they had to obviously recreate a lot of the stuff into the 3DS's architecture, but for a game I was borrowing, like, just a lot of quote unquote assets from New Mario 1 and Wii, like, it's. I'm actually kind of impressed they managed yeah. to do something pretty distinct with a lot of levels. The actual like level design like, like yeah the... i was actually i was actually like really imp fairly impressed with the level designs overall like, i was yeah. expected i again i keep calling this game mario cram school and i was expecting it to be friggin cram school but it's pretty it's, inventive <laughs> it's a it, yeah it's surprising because again it's it's always that one mario game that everyone calls just the one that just kind of exists and uh it yeah, after playing it again, it doesn't get the credit it deserves, in my opinion. I wouldn't yeah, say it's, think... like, the greatest game ever made or anything like that. Like, I... I no. like, it, it, again, I'd probably I'd probably still play Mario Wii over this, and I'd, uh, I'd definitely play Mario World over this. But, again, I think <laughs> it, in terms of the three new games that we've played so far, I think, I think this is the best one, honestly. Um... But you'd rather play Mario Wii over it. Uh, well, it's uh, it, well, it's one of those things where like I can, I I, f I would rather play Mario Wii because I just have more fun playing that game. But I, f I think if I if I had to speak 
uh, in terms of what I think is better, I I would honestly say this. Honestly, say this game. Um, but it's just yeah, it's just one of those things where like I don't know. Probably more. I probably would probably play it. If I had to play both Mario, New Mario Wii or New Mario 2 alone, I'd probably play this. That's fair enough. Um, I, I would... I mean, I'd probably give you a different answer if I went back to play through Wii, but it would definitely be uh, pretty neck and neck between these two games. Um, so I, I, yeah. I do want to I do want to stress, as much as I uh, harp on these games sometimes, especially during the Mario Wii playthrough, I do enjoy playing these games, don't, don't get it twisted. Um, sometimes it's just, you know, you have to, to show that you love something, you do need to, like, um, like, critique it here and there. I'll be sure to critique Odyssey plenty when we get to that. I mean, I, ha I have my share issues with Odyssey as well, but, um, that's for another day. I'd argue, I mean, I don't know, maybe, uh, hold on, let me put my fanboy hat on for a moment, but <laughs> I'd argue that maybe that whole, like, Post Galaxy One pre Odyssey period of Mario games maybe gets a bad rap when it doesn't wholly deserve it. Mm, I mean, I have, I, I get where people are coming from, and I do agree to a degree, but I think it is a little bit overblown in some ways. Nintendo wasn't like their level designers weren't slacking. Like people were screaming, that Nintendo was resting on their laurels, but no, they they knew how to make games. I, I, kind of, I, I feel like, uh, for me, it's more, I feel like it's, uh, more issues with, like, some of the RPGs at this, at this, uh, time. Um, those definitely weren't resting on their laurels either, just, they did stuff just in a different way. Um, mm. honestly, we haven't even really touched on the music, but... Had this game gotten, gotten a new score, I imagine most people would be far kinder toward it. Maybe. I mean, I... I do like the... Like, the, the uh, main overworld theme, like, with the, like, acapella type, like, esque bars. I think it works really well for that. Um, other f other themes just kind of feel weird with it. Yeah, some of, this, uh, some of it works more. Like, main theme... Over, like the title theme, Overworld, not Overworld, the World 1-1. One, one. <laughs> and the credits theme, I think those actually work with like the higher amounts of higher amounts of vocalization. Yeah. Like it's case by case. I mean, maybe they should have just just arranged some more, maybe done more heavy arrangements, used stuff from New Mario 1 that didn't make it to New Mario Wii to really kind of sell that this is the real sequel. <laughs> I yeah, I, I guess so. I would... Gotta love all that coinage constantly coming back, but it. Yeah, yeah I, I like the coin gimmick. I think they could have just could have done more of it. Yeah, um, I will say that I feel part of me feels like they did the they added the whole bars because they realized that the game didn't have its own like original tracks, so they like <laughs> tried anything they could to make it stand out. It like um, musically, I guess. Which, yeah, I, mean, I mean, it's I'm not, fine, but... I'm not opposed to that on principle, I just... Like, yeah, I was, um... Just gone heavier on the arrangement, I guess. I don't know, like... Yeah. That's something I was gonna say. What was I gonna say? It's like... Yeah, that, or use some new Mario 1 tracks. Just, new Mario 1 tracks that just didn't make it to the Wii game. Mm. Like, this... Again, I... I again, I... Yeah, I want to give it just a bit of leeway, because this was a... It was sold as a sequel, so you know, God, I have to kind of judge it as such. But yeah, like, yeah, I, I don't know. Had this gone by New Super Mario Brothers Gold, people might have been a little more lenient on it. Like, just treating it as kind of a loose remake of the first two games and as a full-on sequel. Even Nintendo would still sell it for forty bucks. Huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like. Had they done a straight remake of New Mario 1 with, like, co-op co and some new levels, I would have been more than fine with that. Yeah. Like, I wanted co-op in the original New Mario Brothers. Yeah, because, like, the most you have is, like, the versus mode stuff, which... That stuff was great as well, but... You know. Yeah, and it's not here. Thanks, Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. I've never actually tried co-op in this game, because I've just never been able to, but... Um, you know... 
Well, they should. I don't know. Nintendo should. This and the first game don't deserve to just be lost. Well, the first game's on the Wii Virtual Console, but that's gone. That's basically shut down yeah, now. Yeah, so, good luck. Good luck getting that now. So yeah, the handheld games and New Mario Wii should, you know, should be re-released at some point. Y yeah. Like, I mean, I that, that, at this. Go on. Yeah, I was gonna say that at this point they should, they should just make a new Super Mario Bros. Collection. Call just... it new Super Mario All Stars. <laughs> yeah. I, I oh, mean, that's yeah. nice. Peach actually called Luigi's name for once. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they may as well do something something like that at this point. I mean, I'd also love a... Uh, was it, this this ain't Mario related, but I, I'd love a Kirby's Return to Dreamland collection, but I, I don't know if they'd ever do that. A Return to Dreamland collection is always like the modern side-scrollers. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, like Return to Dreamland, obviously, and the, the 3DS games. Um, I don't know Can if- Can we take Epic Yarn with it just to save that game? I mean, it's on I, 3DS, but still. I mean, I would like that. I don't know if they do that, because it's so, um, it's like a completely different beast, but, uh, I mean, th this is all like, um, like- Sounds like a podcast topic. What do you want for your modern Nintendo- what modern Nintendo collection do you want? Yeah. Uh, Pretty much. Yes, folks, we do have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I just want to play Return to Dreamland with online co-op. <laughs> but it's, we, we're due for like a new Kirby remake, anyways. Yeah. Uh, I mean, triple. I mean, Return to Dreamland is probably low on the list right now, but I maybe guess, in fifteen but, years. I, I just like the yeah. Dark Matter trilogy. I think could make a decent remake. Mm. Yeah. Let's see. So I mean, yeah, I, I come away with more respect for this game, not that I ever disliked it to begin with, but... I definitely, yeah, I definitely have more, a lot more respect for it now. Like, this this game suffered for its own sins, and New Mario U sins, and just, I guess, Nintendo sins? <laughs> like, right place, wrong time. I think... I'll a lot of people's issues with, like, calling it, like, a basic Mario or whatever, uh, like, do come from the fact that, like, this and Mario U came out in the same year. Um, I don't remember how far apart they came out. Three months. Yeah, okay, yeah, three months. I, I can kind of understand the fatigue with that, because I feel like if these games were, like, spaced out better, better maybe, um, people wouldn't be so harsh, because... Like, yeah, this, uh, it's just a bit much, uh, but, yeah. Nintendo was very, like, I said, I think I said this, I gave my, I guess, ex possible explanation earlier in the playthrough, like, Nintendo saw the sales of the first two games, and so obviously they'd make more for the other systems, they were, their new systems. And the 3DS was still kind of flagging at this point in time, so I guess they just wanted an easy seller. Mm. And wanted to train their younger developers as well. Yeah. Like, yeah, knowing what we know now, the Wii U version probably should have been prioritized for launch in 2012, and then the 3DS version could be launched like in early 2013, which would give arbitrary spacing, if nothing else, and maybe give just enough time Space it between New Mario U and 3D World, maybe. Yeah, um... Or alternatively, the Wii U launch had too many games to begin with, New Mario U could be launched like six months later. Yeah, I feel... In a perfect world, I I think what they should have done is like, prioritized finishing 3D, 3D World as like a launch game, and then like, ne the year after that, like, release Mario U. Cause then I don't think that was ever gonna happen. I mean, like, no, pr maybe not. But like, this is like, um, like just imaginary world right now. Where like, if if I were to like move these games around, that's how I would have done it. Because then you'd have New Mario Two for its own space, um, and then. It's like, oh, there's the 2D Mario game on the 3DS, and then the console has, like, a new 3D game. And then, like, 
I feel like that would have been a stronger first showing for the uh, Wii U at least. And then the only way, yeah, so, the only way I could see that happening is if I'm presuming that these are the same divisions that work on these games. But mm. only way this happens, I guess, is if a Nintendo Land doesn't happen in 2012. Oh yeah, and B 3D Land is just destroyed and the team gets to work on a Wii U game quickly. Oh yeah, right, right, I completely forgot about 3D Land. I mean, yeah, I don't know. The The Wii U was just kind of a mess in a lot of ways, um, but yeah. Also, now that I think about it, 3D Land had to, got compromised because of the earthquake. Mm. Like, who knows what, I don't imagine like, who knows what, I wonder if that did have like a knock-on effect of 3D World's development. In my, I, I always get like, it always surprises me when I think about how like quickly these games released because it's like, yeah, Galaxy 2 in 2010, and then the like the year right after that is 3D Land, and then two years after that is 3D World, which is like a really quick turnaround. Like, yeah, just, remember that? Yeah. Remember when Nintendo could release games? Yeah. I mean, that. That's unfair. <laughs> yeah. Pre HD, first of all, and EP EPD is doing other things now. But mm, yeah, God knows what they're have. what they're making now. Like the just a whole bunch of rumors, but uh, that's a uh, story for another day. So yeah, like I, I can't see 3D World at launch, unfortunately, unless like Nintendo Land got sacrificed at the altar. <laughs> Are we? And, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Are we still here? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm still recording because, like, until we ha like have nothing else to say about this. Um... At this point, you might as well just put a GIF of Mario, Weed, and Toad, and the two Toads dancing at the end of Mario Weed. <laughs> <laughs> It'd just be like the thing in Rayman Origins, but just with Mario characters. Nick just asked me, "Your birthday is tomorrow, right?" And he said, and I said yes, and he just sent me a link to something. Oh God. Uh, so, yeah. See if there's anything you're interested in, no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I don't know which develop division of EAD did what at this time, but. Yeah, I don't know. 3D World, like, with the transition to HD, 3D World was probably not going to be ready. <laughs> I've heard a. Um, um, I think Reggie himself, it, it might have been Reggie or someone else, that talked about how one of the issues the Wii, Wii U had was the teams just trying. Uh, um, transit transitioning into HD development and it just took a lot um, the teams like w a lot more time to finish uh, the like projects than they expected which yeah gi given that, how that was all huh that was just the norm for a lot of developers and it seems like a lot of Japan's developers had difficulties transitioning to 3d in particular HD in particular yeah it, it's um I think it, it doesn't help that like Nintendo got into HD super late, um, so that it's like that does make a lot of sense considering how um, the Wii U had like so many droughts, and the fact that like third-party support was basically non-existent made it so um, there are long stretches of that console where it was just kind of difficult to <laughs> like be solely a Nintendo fan, um, which yeah. Just kind of a general putting aside whatever like problems with the console itself, there was like a perfect storm of bad luck for the company. Basically, yeah. Uh... Like we've like we've gone over this at length. Like the 3DS itself had struggled early on, so Nintendo couldn't even give their home console all the love it needed. Yeah. Uh yeah. Oh gosh, we'll get to speak at length about the Wii when we get the new Mario U, I guess. I, yeah, I guess that'll be the time to talk about it more, more in uh, depth, but... Um... And yeah, both of those will be turning 10 this year, so, you know, that's <laughs> nice. God. Uh... Yeah, I, I don't... I think we've... I, I think we've exhausted <laughs> things at this point. I don't... I have nothing really... I have nothing else to say about new Mario 2 specifically, so... And I'm just kind of waiting for this to end so I can go take a bath. <laughs> okay. Alright, yeah, I'm done. Alright. I have to eat. I had nothing to say, I just enjoyed the trip. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, so, yeah, that's the end of this. 
So I would, I would probably I'm, enjoy playing this more than 3D Land, honestly. I might actually agree with you. I kind of want to play the Judge, but from what I've seen, I really agree. I, I'll, I'll um have to um. Yeah, uh, I'll keep the stream. I'm closing the stream about the videos, like, share, by the way. Huh? I'm tired of- I, I closed the video share because I'm tired of hearing the same, like, line. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I'll, I'll, I'll definitely- I'll definitely have to keep that in mind when we do 3D Land because I- I, like, I feel like I'd probably agree with that, um, as well, but I- I haven't played that game in, like, years as well, so, um, I'll- yeah, I'll, I'll just have to see on that front, but yeah, uh, I enjoy doing this, and I think, oh Jesus, I think next time we're supposed to be doing Enter the Dragonfly, which has been which has been a long time coming, so oh oh are we oh in that case I think yeah I think that I think that's what's coming up next. <laughs> Jason left. <laughs> left. <laughs> Good. He left. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I think well, we're playing. That's gonna turning twenty this year, so I guess happy birthday, Enter Dragonfly. Um, so yeah, I think we're playing the GameCube version because apparently that's like the least buggy or something. Yes, that's the least buggy version. Okay. Because then that's the one I grew up with. It's also the one I owned. I don't remember. I, don't know I think I grew up with the GameCube version as well, but I don't remember. But yeah, that'll be the uh, that'll be. Fun. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun to pick this on Universal's grave. Probably yeah. not, and it's probably the GameCube version. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, nothing else needs to be said, really. So, um, if you, unless All you right. guys, unless you guys have any oh. final words, um, uh, my final words are: take a bath, Jason. That's my. Those are my final words. No, your final words, and those are my final words. <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. Okay. So, yeah. Bye. Um, see, see you guys in, in, in pain. Bye. Go to sleep, Perry. Take a bath, Jason.